Hello, Floss Tube. Oh, look at us back again. <laughs> Three days later, and here we are again. Um, <laughs> welcome back. This is episode 32. It is Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. We hope you had a good day. Um, it was really nice here in Pittsburgh today, so I hope it was nice where you are. Um, and you got to enjoy some sunshine. So um, tonight is probably not going to be super long since we were just here the other night for an hour and 10 minutes. So we will jump right in. So does anyone have any best new things in the past couple of days that they'd like to share? <laughs> we spent from 9.30 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. outside today, splashing around, and the kids went to bed like that. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> okay. That's that's, thing. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, this glass of wine is the best new thing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the girls already know this, but we're having a rough uh, baby and kid night. Mm. If you hear the baby screaming in the background, it's been a rough day, but this <laughs> wine is amazing. And I love seeing your beautiful faces. <laughs> Erica, real good night. Uh, Erica, what'd you do today? Well, listen, it was real hot. Um, my <laughs> best new thing is that my friend Caitlin loaned us this like beach tent contraption thing, and that way I like I brought it out into the yard. We weren't out there very long, but I was able to bring the baby out, and he laid under that little thing, and he played with his baby toys, and they're able to all be out there, and it was lovely. That's awesome. Yay. Erin, what did you guys do today? Uh, we did, like, pool stuff in the front yard. We have one of those blow-up pools. It has a hole in it, though, we figured out, but oh, no. it's fine. You know what, though? We went on Amazon, you guys, to try to buy a new one. We bought this thing last year for, like, $40. It's one of those cheap pools. We buy one, like, every year. Well, this one happened to, like, last because I was pregnant. We didn't go in the pool a lot last year. We pull it out. It has a hole. So I'm like, I need to go find a new one. Do you know how much they are going for this year? Hmm. 180 bucks. What? Same thing. People jacked the price up because everybody's staying home because of COVID. No one's going out to the pool, so everyone's buying pools. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. That's crazy. And I'm like, we need to patch this thing up because we're not buying a new one. <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> yeah, duct tape. Listen, throw, a spr throw a sprinkler out there. They'll be happy. Well, I'm just running. I can't believe people. I know. Yeah. It's like all that stuff. Like, people were complaining about computers, too. Like, people said they went to try to buy computers. You can't buy a computer yeah. anymore. Because everyone's working from home, so everybody bought all the computers. Yeah. So if you need a computer, you're SOL because there's no computers in town. So, wow. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, we did um, like yard work all day today. Um, I did some crafting this morning, and then of course, in the heat of the day, we decided that we were going to go do landscaping. Not the brightest idea, but um, we drank a lot of water. And <laughs> um, my best new thing though is. In my township, they have a municipal yard waste site. So, like, you can just take your stuff there at any time. Oh, and cool. it can't be like grass clippings, but if you have trees and shrubs and vines and sticks and all that kind of stuff, you just take it there and they um, don't charge you for it, which is nice. Um, so, we've been taking, like, truckloads of stuff up to this place the past couple of days. So, it's been it's been awesome. And it's only, like, a mile away from our house. Nice. Yes. Do they um, like check to make sure that you were actually a resident? So nobody's usually there, but yes, you should have your ID with you just to make sure because it is illegal to dump there if you're not a resident of the right. township. Um, yeah. But they also provide free mulch. So if you have a truck mm. way to haul it, you can have as much free mulch as you want. So for like our backyard where it's not going to be as visible, we're just going to go get the free mulch and use that instead of buying it. So that's crazy. Perfect. Yeah. So it's awesome. So does this mean though, like in the fall when you have leaves, like we have this 
snuffleupagus machine that comes by and gets ours would you have to take yours to that place they have like set days that they'll come by and do like the little cleanup thing and it lists like all of the the roads in our township and then it'll say like okay your road on this day and this day will come around and do the the you know the leaf pickup but if you want to take it there just on your own then in the fall you can take your leaves okay that's cool yeah cool but that's fun. This is all new for us. We've never lived in the suburbs before. So. Well, come to the burbs. <laughs> we're like, what if we do with all of this crap that we're pulling out of our yard? Like, you know, at our old house, we would just burn it or like throw it over the hill. Don't um, do that now. Can't do that. <laughs> no, no. You know what it called? My husband has to go on for that. Oh, I'm sure. People, anytime someone's burning, someone calls the fire department. So they have to go and be like, stop burning your leaves. Our neighbors across the street already warned us that there's like a couple people in our neighborhood that are like the fire police. So like if you start burning in your backyard, they call the cops on you. So we've already been warned. So, yeah. but now we have a place to take it. We don't have, to. and oh thank God my husband has a pickup truck. Ooh, so it's been a lifesaver. All right. Let's talk about um, whips. Who has stitched over the past couple of days? Erin, why don't you go first? What have you stitched? I haven't stitched much only because it's only been a couple of days. And yesterday we decided to have a movie night. We watched that 1917 movie. Oh, yeah. You know, a real feel good movie. (laughs) I was going to say nothing like, nothing like. like Have you guys seen that movie? I haven't seen it. Is it good? So good. Okay. It's like the main thing about it is it's like this one shot thing. So it's like a single cam, single shot, and they just keep panning. It's very cool. It's a very well done movie, but it's like World War One and it's it's insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's insane. So but it was really good. We did that. So we kind of chilled out yesterday. But I did get a little bit more in. Oh, you got a lot Ooh. more in. Yeah, I'm almost there. That's great. In there. It's not bad. You know, somebody made a comment on my Instagram. I don't know if they watch our floss tube, but they said next time do the continental stitch, but I am doing the continental stitch. <laughs> so I'm confused because yeah. it is, does it not look like it's half stitches? Cause they're half stitches and they are <laughs> diagonal. I think she thinks I'm going up and down, but I'm going like this anyways. I wonder I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Between a half stitch and a continental stitch, is, is it the way that you... I looked it up, because when she said that, I was like, oh, maybe I'm doing this wrong. And it's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it just doesn't look like that, because I'm doing it too tight, maybe. Oh. Also, oh. thank you all for all of the information about pearl cotton. I wasn't aware yeah. that there were different sizes of pearl cotton, and now I'm going to look into all of that. Yeah. I really like pearl cotton. Sulky threads. I have seen so many people stitch with sulky threads and it's, you use one strand versus, you know, it's the same coverage as two. And you get it in like a little container. I don't know. They look really cool, but I thought, well, that would be really convenient. I like stitching with one thread, but if you have, if you need two threads for the coverage, maybe this would work. So is it more expensive? Probably right. I think so. But it comes on like a spool, like it comes on a spool instead of like a skein. So I don't know. Mm. might be worth it just to try it the only other one I'm doing is my um seasons every seasons and I've only put a few stitches in but this is the uh, tiny modernist Mm. I love that one the new part comes out like next week but the problem is so does the caterpillar cross stitch starts at the end of this week oh and you're totally on board with that like Uh, oh 100 I will be dropping everything to start that (laughs) Yeah. And Hopefully I'm, yeah. our needle minders are here by then. Right. <clears throat> I forgot to look at when I ordered mine. I meant to do that and I totally forgot. Remind me later and I'll look okay. and we can put your dates. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it for me. Jude, what'd you stitch? I didn't do much. Um, we were outside all day today, but I just got a little bit more done on here. So I just got some of these branches in. Ooh. Nice. You did it. I see it. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's all. That's all I did. I did some shopping. I love that you're like 
sticking with this though. That's great. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You know what? <laughs> it was a giant piece of fabric. Thank you, Erin. I dyed it. I love how the fabric turned out. I have the perfect frame for it. Guys, I measured. I was talking to Michael about the clock frame. Remember I was telling you about the clock frame? Mm -hmm. And um, he's like, well, how do you know it's going to fit? And I'm like, well, I don't. I just feel like it's the exact same size of my fabric. And he's like, well, you didn't measure it? And I'm like, no, I just feel like it's going to fit in there. So I got the measuring tape out. It is the exact size of my Ooh, fabric. Ooh, that's a, I mean, meant to be. Exact. <laughs> so, Perfect. That's why I'm like, I'm, I'm doing it because, well, I think the rest of it's going to go fairly fast now. The branches are like so thin. So, yeah. you know, I think it's going to go pretty fast. The I only birds, have two birds left. That seem, yeah, the birds. Yeah, but they're not like that the bad. Board. They're honestly yeah. like, I don't know. It's going so fast. I love it. It looks awesome. It's just a pain to follow my pattern because, well, you know. <laughs> you mean your carpet it's a pain to follow your carpet got it yeah. people love that last last video the rug. it's so bad erica what'd you stitch <clears throat> well i unstitched the <laughs> little, Frank little frankenstein guy on the mysterious halloween town i took him out because he was like not in the right place and it was really going to bug me even though I probably could have pulled it off um so I took him out and then I did some more of the fence and now I'm starting him again that looks good that fence is so adorable with the little pumpkin oh I can't there's even there's more that. pumpkins going to be over here I'm very excited so cute very cute so unstitch restitch on this one that's okay and then Oh, I made a really organized pile next to me, and it is not <laughs> like that anymore. And then I also think that, yeah, I did work on this since we last filmed, but I worked a little bit more on this guy, maybe. Mm, nice. Yeah. Come along. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now that we're getting closer to, like, this part, it's getting faster because there's smaller rows, you know? Mm -hmm. What are you stitching that in that you always have it out of whatever it is? <laughs> this hoop. <laughs> oh, you only have the one? I'm, I'm low on I'm low on hoops. I, I have a hoop for you. I got a hoop in my box from Karen. So I'll bring Yay. it to you. Amazing. So I keep switch I took this uh the Halloween town one out outside when we were outside this morning, thinking I would get to stitch. Not true. But I took it out there and I had forgotten that the hoop was with the zodiac. That that might be my baby, in case you're hearing a baby. No, my 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 house is shaking. I think there's like a really giant train going by. It's shaking the camera. <laughs> I'm like, what's an earthquake right now? Where oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, okay, so yes. What was I saying? Is your house not shaking anymore? No, we're, we're I mean I live by it's Pittsburgh. We all live by trains, right? But <laughs> <laughs> crazy oh so I took the ha Halloween town outside today thinking I'm gonna stitch on this and I got out there and the hoop wasn't in there because it was with the zodiac and I was like ah yeah well I, got it. It fine. I mean I'll buy you a hoop girl I didn't know I have one I, it's coming on Wednesday I'll bring it by okay. <laughs> I have like a million hoops but they're all in other stuff yeah <laughs> That's like Jody's quest to have a Q-snap for every project. I want a Q-snap on every whip. Yeah, I get That's it, girl. I get that. I hate taking my stuff out of I the Q-snap. I hate it. it. Mm -hmm. Even taking them out to, like, do our filmings. I'm like, oh, I got it. Yes! I know. That's why I just left mine in here. I'm like, eh. I just saw showed this to you on Friday, so there you go. <laughs> no, I'm not taking it out. I just, not. I just snapped this thing up. Yeah. Yeah. Not right. taking it out. <laughs> All oh, right. I tell you. Let's see. Um, what did I work on? Okay. I started working on this one again, just for, you know, the hell of it. And I got Ooh. this done, and then I got the sun done. So I only Baby got back. 
Mm, mm, look at that. <laughs> um, it's impressive. Um, all I have to do is finish this at the top and then there's just one single stitch that goes down the side to complete the border and then just the words at the top, that one other line. So I'll have this one done. done. And of course this one's done on 46 count. I don't know the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where the fact so is. it's done on a piece of solid cotton. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiny. And then I did, I put a couple more colors and stitches into Dracula. Um, mm -hmm. See that? There's like some yellow in there. Oh, there's gray in there. Ooh. I can't really see the yellow, but it looks awesome. So, oh, oh, there yellow. we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see from far away, but up close. Yeah. Um, so I got that done. And then um, I started, I have a little scrap of fabric that, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I started the, this was the pattern that uh, we purchased to help support the Australian fires. And this was called Ray of Hope from blackberry farm designs i think that's what it is i'll link it below but anyway so i'm stitching this one and you're gonna laugh at me but i'm stitching it one over one on 32 count so <laughs> it's it's real tiny um i don't know your needle minder is gonna be bigger than your finish <laughs> well that hoop is like a size of a quarter. It's, a, it's like a baby it's like a hoop. Sketch hoop. It's it's very very tiny. But anyway, I think it's is that this, what Erica is it the same uses? size. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Like Erica Erica's hoop. Erica's hoop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's very so party. I don't know if I'm gonna keep up with this or not because it's starting to hurt my eyes a little bit. Um, because it is very tiny. And you know, I just don't like how stitches look one over one on something that small. I just don't think they look as neat, but it's coming along. So that's awesome. who knows? All right, so that's all I worked on. So let's talk about um, finishes. Erin, did you have any finishes or did you that's start awesome. any fun new projects? I'll tell my new projects in a minute. I did have one little finish. It was last week, but I, I didn't show it because we didn't send the cards yet, but I stitched a little card oh, for yeah. um, Jonathan's Nana and Papa. It was their anniversary. So that's actually a cross stitch stationary card. So cute. Which I like. Yeah. I mean, it's well, it's their 70th anniversary, you guys. Crazy. 70th. They got married when they she was like 16 and wasn't supposed to get married because he was like 21. And mm -hmm. this was like way back in the day. And oh yeah. I love their story. Love it. Yeah, they're great people. So um you guys aren't all on our text message thread, but between the four of us, we've been going <laughs> crazy lately about these junk journals. Uh, Michelle Bendy, you're a bad Michelle, influence. Michelle, what oh. you've done to our lives. Uh. So, <laughs> it's funny because like Kristen was like, hey, I found this thing in my house and she'll show it in a minute and it's amazing. And I'm like, ooh, that's a great idea. And then Jody jumped in with like a, yeah, but I kind of want like a bigger thing. And I was like, that's a great idea. <laughs> so then I started thinking about what I had in my house. And I have this photo book that I was going to just scrapbook pictures into, but I'm like, I kind of like this idea better. So now I'm going to be putting my cross stitching into it. And I needed something bigger because I have bigger finishes. And I was never going to do anything with this piece. So now I've been able to finish it and put it in here. That's my Satsuma. And then I was able to put this one in. That's awesome. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I haven't like fancied it up. I haven't like gushied it up with the embellishments yet, but I'm excited about just having a place for my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And like I we like talked the... about this, but like it makes me feel like I want to stitch everything now because I have a place for it. Because I always say, why would I stitch that? What am I going to do with it? Well, now I have a place for it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to journey of stitching it. And that's the thing, you know, it's instead of putting stuff in the under the box bed or the under the bed box or like a bag, like I do, now you have a place for it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Jody, yeah. what does your junk journal look like? Okay. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to Anne. 
Anne reached out to us. Um, she makes junk journals and she reached out to us and she is going to be sending us some. So and we will have multiple junk Ooh. journals, which I am not mad about at all. Okay. <laughs> um, and I love that all four of us have taken this and like made our own version of what we feel would best fit our needs. Like I'm like Aaron, like I don't do a lot of tiny stuff. And so I feel like a smaller book, you know, I wouldn't maybe use as much for stitching. I'd use it for like notes and things. Um, but I felt like I needed something bigger just if I wanted to put bigger finishes in it. And I love that Aaron said that you want to stitch all the things now because I feel the same way. Like a lot of times I'll just pass over a pattern. I won't even think about buying it or doing it because I'm like, I don't want to put that in my house and I don't want to put a whole bunch of work into something and then put it under the bed. So this is perfect. The other thing that I liked about this idea is actually journaling. Like I keep all of my stitching notes in my phone. So I put in there like whips that I have, things that I want to start, um, notes about patterns, notes about designers. I have like a whole list of like Etsy favorites or like Instagram favorites and just things that I that I've like written down like, oh, I need to come back to this. So that's like really what I want to use this for. Mm -hmm. And then if I have like a fun finish that I don't want to put in my house, then I'll also put that in here. Um, and just like notes, like I just want to use it for notes. So um, I'm so super excited about it. So I went to Walmart and I found a sketchbook for seven dollars. Nice. And it's black. It's just a black sketchbook. It's thick. And I oh, got some it? cool paper and I mod podged the cover. That's amazing. I love it. Wait, so, so that book is just like blank pages? Yeah. So it's well, just I mean, it's a sketchbook. That That's awesome. That's like seven bucks. Seven dollars. Wow. So I still have to do the back. This is just the the one of the pieces from the the front that I was big and I folded over, but um, it's just, I just got like a pack of scrapbook paper and ripped it up and Mod Podged it on there. So I already have a couple things like tucked in here. Like example, I was looking for these cross stitch kits for the kids forever. And I had gotten Stella one and I couldn't remember what it was called. And I searched and searched and I finally found it. Um, and so the little pamphlet from it, I'm going to stick in here so that in the future I'll remember, oh, that's what it is. Like just, that's awesome. you know, that's stuff cool. to remember. And, and I, and I got also, um, like just these yellow, like little folder things. So I'll like tape or glue some of those in, decorate them and then put my patterns in there. So like patterns that. I have that maybe I have notes on or that I want to do in the future, um, I can stick in there and then just have like all my stuff together. So I'm so That's pumped. That's a great idea. So pumped. Yay. Um, okay, well then I'll keep going with the finishes then because uh, on the line of the junk journals. So funny story, I bought this leather bound rustic journal in 2006 and I have a note in it from when I bought it. So, which is hilarious. But anyway, it has like this cool wrap around it. And like, you can see the pages are like all frayed. I have no clue what I was planning on using this journal for. Like, let's be honest. Um, I always kept like a diary and stuff when I was a kid. And like, I always liked to write. So I don't know, maybe I thought I had some lofty goals for this thing, but um, it's from a company and I saved the tag because the tag came in it. Um, it's called ionahandcraftedbooks.com. And they are still in business. They are still making journals. They still make these journals. So you can go and purchase one if you'd like. Um, they are not cheap. Um, currently, these uh, rustic journals are selling for $100. I did not pay $100 when I bought this in 2006. So the price has definitely gone up. But they also have like larger size journals too. So if you wanted something bigger, this is more of like a I don't know, just like your standard book size one. Um, but it's really cool. It's like all frayed leather on the edges. So amazing that I found this in my, in just like my pile of stuff, right? Like I had it in a box of just like collectible things that I had. 
Um, so I decided to turn this into my junk journal. So I worked on it today and I have two pages done. So I'm pretty pumped. Um, the first page is my frosted pumpkin pen pal page. So good. Is that lace over there? This is just like lacy stuff. I love I, how fancy you're making it. <laughs> I could okay. hear Erica sigh when she saw that pattern. Like this whole page is like, just reminds me of Erica. <laughs> it's cool. It's like I could put the frosted pumpkin, the pen pals, you know, the designer name over here when I stitched it. And then I just wrote some notes about it. Like I stitched it on 14 count Ada. Um, I bought this Ada at Michael's and I stitched one for my mom and gave it to her for Valentine's day. And after I stitched it, I was like, Oh, I could totally bust that out again. And then I stitched it for myself. So that was the first page. How about the fact too, that that's the pattern that kind of started it all. Like that's, that's the very the first thing I ever saw you crossed it. And that's the first thing that you and I talked about, Kristen, you, you were like, Oh yeah, I'm stitching this really easy. And you gave me some of your Ada for it. And that's what like started it. How? And so it's the first page in my book. So that's really cool that like, love it. Yeah, that's kind of like what started the whole thing. And of course, Erica was the one that introduced me to the mm -hmm. Frosted Pumpkin and got me back into stitching in general. So <laughs> it's really Yay. What we a special page. Um, and then this is like my favorite page, <laughs> my home sweet haunted okay. home. So I, I had realized you'd done that on teal. That's really cool. So this yeah, is that color is beautiful. This was just like a fabric remnant that she had sent to me. So I stitched it. I put the designer name and everything up here at the top. This is like a little red maple leaf that I got off my tree in the backyard. And I just thought he was so little and so cute. Um, and then this is a postcard that I got out of a horror box that I used to subscribe to that we talked about previously in our show um, that is now defunct. But they would send like cool stuff every month. And like, when would I ever send this postcard to somebody? Uh, what does it say? <clears throat> It says, in fiction, if nowhere else, I must have a little meaning, a little coherence, or I will go mad. And it's um, from Anne Rice. Kristen, that is amazing, that whole page. It's awesome. And this was just like um, scrapbook paper that looked like whitewash board, like shiplap board. So I just put that in there because it was like home, sweet home. Um, so... Yeah, I was so excited to do this today. Like I just like I woke up this morning and I said I have to get like a page or two done. Um, so now, like Aaron said, I can't wait to just stitch like little things to put in my book. Um, so I'm on the lookout for little patterns that I could stitch up quickly and then be able to add them to the book. And hopefully they have meaning or even if they don't, it doesn't matter. It's going in the journal. So Yay, really, that's so cool. I like how each of yours are very different. Yeah, I really like the way they reflect your interests and your personality. Yeah, I agree. Um, the only other finish that I had today was just another little project that I thought would be fun to do um, to display all of my needle minders. So I know a lot of people do this, but I decided to make my own magnetic needle minder board. And this was super simple. This is a cheap frame from Ikea. These are like two bucks for these plastic frames. It doesn't even come with glass. It comes with a piece of see-through plastic, like a piece of plastic. <laughs> so I had magnetic stripping. You can buy it on Amazon. It comes in a roll, so you can cut it to length. And I just cut six eight-inch pieces of that magnetic strip and put it, it has a sticky side. You just stick it to the plastic. And then I just wrapped it with a piece of fabric, popped it in the frame, boom. So now I have places for all of my needle minders, and that'll be great to, like, put up on the wall and display, but I'm I love doing that soon because this one is full. So yeah. Now, do you, are those all of the needle minders that you currently have, or do you have some that are like in with projects? Most of, um, most of them are on here, but I do have probably six or seven more that are on whips right now that I had for stitch mania that I just didn't take the needle minders out for. So definitely I'm going to need another board, but this is a really inexpensive way to display all of your needle minders. Like this whole thing probably only costs like three bucks to make. Ooh. Um, very, very easy. Amazing. Those are my finishes. Erica, what did you finish this week? Anything? This week? No. <laughs> no. You didn't this do weekend. anything in the past three days? How dare you? <laughs> no, I wish that I had, you guys. I wish. 
No, that's. <laughs> I thought about trying to finish another pen pal pattern between like then and now. Didn't happen. Not possible. But the thought was in my heart, so that counts, right? That counts. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's the end. Um, all right. Well, what did we buy um, in the past three days? I know I bought stuff. Cause I can't <laughs> stop myself. Erin, what did you buy? <laughs> well, first off, I have a stitchy kindness from Jody. Because like I said, I was like, hey, I found this Zweigart. It's Dublin 25 count. And it was like unopened white. I was like, can you dye it for me? You guys. Whoa. What? How beautiful did that turn out? So pretty. I think I'm going to do one of Brooke's gnomes, the Christmas gnome. I don't know why, but that's speaking to oh, me yeah. for these colors. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. red on here, I feel like would Ooh, be really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's my thought process. And I was going to do those gnomes to display in my house, but now I kind of think I'm going to put them in my journal. <laughs> I don't know. I know everything we stitch now is going to be like, uh, I'm not going to put that up. That's going to go in the journal. <laughs> put it in the so book. The next book. thing I got was Jody inspired as well. I ordered this and it already came in. It's a stitch oh, cool. kit for my daughter. That's I need awesome. to order one for my son. I am so excited. Well, so it came in today and she's lately, she's been like, <laughs> this is such a random thing, but I've been doing the needle point and she goes, I don't want to learn how to cross stitch. I only want to learn how to needle point. And I was like, well, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought this and today okay. she finally was like, I'll cross stitch with you. So that's we'll awesome. See. So the last thing I bought was really expensive <laughs> but I snagged one of the Black Needle Society advent boxes you guys I'm so excited they sold out in like a minute a Dude, minute oh. a minute I'm so excited they're only selling 50 of them because I got the 25 of course I got the 25 day one and they're only selling 50 so Michelle Bendy's video from Saturday I watched it this morning while I was journaling and she talks about it because one of her designs is in the box mm -hmm. and she said for the big box. The reason they're only doing 50 is because there's a something in the box that the person could only literally make 50 of them. Cause I, they want to keep the quality high. I know. I know. <laughs> Cause they're saying it's like a, like it's over $300 is the value of this box. What is the thing? We don't, don't know. know. Wait, they, don't, they don't tell. We don't know. We won't know until Christmas. Uh, and also, there is a there's a tiny modernist exclusive pattern in this, which is when I was like, "Me, yeah, I'm sold." It's <laughs> poor sure. a tiny one. <laughs> She'll buy it. <laughs> I'm very excited. I have high hopes. I'll say for this box to work out. How are you? Okay, I know it's in December, but let's talk about it anyway. Are you planning on doing like a small okay. filming every day that you'll piece together with like, here's what I, okay. Are you sure. going to open it yeah. one a day or are you going to do I'm it all at once? I'm a person when it comes to Christmas, when it comes to Advent things. I can definitely, I don't like just eat all the chocolates in one day. I'm a one a day. It makes the holiday more special for me. Yeah. I can do that. Wow. Wow. Very we will actually live through you and watch you open this box and I can't wait. I'm here. I'm so pumped, you guys. It's if anyone's interested, it's the Black Needle Society and the the smaller box, the 12, the last time I checked at least, was still available for pre-order. You can still get the 12 box. Wow. Get the the big guys gone. Sold out in a heartbeat. You nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah. And I knew when Michelle, when Michelle Bendy talked about it on her video, I was like, well, that box is going to be gone in about two seconds. If it wasn't already, I had an alarm on my phone and we were even sitting out front. Our neighbors came over just to like hang in the pool with the girls. And like, I was sitting on the phone, like refresh, 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 refresh. <laughs> uh, it's a 
about the color and cotton box. We literally left the movie theater. So that yeah, was- you did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We got well, it. Excited. So excited yeah. for you. So is that your only purchase this weekend? Good God, yes. <laughs> That's all you're allowed to purchase for like. Oh, except for we did get one more big thing. I it's been like years. We don't have like a couch on our front porch, like a like not a couch couch, but just to sit on like a love seat kind of thing. And my husband finally let me get one, so I will be able to sit out front and sit and cross stitch on my cute little love seat. And that comes in this week. And that was our other nice. big thing. Nice. Yay. That's all exciting. Gonna be amazing. Hopefully it doesn't yeah. rain. Doesn't matter. It can rain. You have a covered phone. Yeah, it's covered. We're good. It can pour. Doesn't matter. It's nice. That's, Aria and I like to sit out there and watch the rain. That's been her thing lately when it rains. Is let's go sit and talk, Mom. It's adorable. So I'm like, this is even better. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah, so good. Jody, what did you buy in the past couple of days? So I had some stitchy kindness also. So when um I, I didn't drop off Aaron's fabric. I made Michael do it because I suck and I never got to it. So he dropped it off and she had this waiting for me, which is super tiny graph paper, which I'm excited about because I do um, like to chart my um, sound wave patterns when I do them. And the last couple of times that I've done them, I only have like giant graph paper. Um, and so <laughs> they've been like, when giant- oh, what is it with me? me like taping shit together so this will be very helpful so thank you Aaron you're welcome Yay. all right the other thing that I bought so I've had this, this pattern in my Etsy cart forever oh I love that one so, I have it in mind too. it's Pennsylvania and um I've had it in there forever and I don't know why I haven't bought it maybe just because I have other stuff that I'm stitching right now that I'm so like you know into stitching um, and so it's just kind of been sitting in my cart. It also looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to stitch, but you know, maybe not. I don't know. I can't really, who knows. Right. So anyways, I've had it in my cart. I'm walking around Walmart the other day, getting my junk journal stuff. And naturally, like I always just go into the craft section. Um, and my Michaels hasn't been open or my Joann's hasn't been open yet. So yeah. They are open now, um, but as of a couple days ago, whatever, I had still hadn't been to like the craft store. I'm like dying to go. So Walmart is like my only, you know, place to get this stuff. So anyways, I'm walking around and I see this on freaking clearance. So okay. cute. So I pull my phone out and I'm like, oh my God, I have to see how big that Pennsylvania pattern is. It's literally going to fit like perfectly on here in the middle. So I bought this. It was like a couple bucks. It was on clearance. Um, and then, of course, I purchased the pattern. So is that going to be for your wall? It'll go on the wall. Yeah, I don't know where it'll go. I, a lot of the stuff that I did on my like cross stitch wall, I'll probably end up taking down and putting in my journal only because it's not stuff that I really wanted on the wall, but I just had it sitting yeah. framed and I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, add it to the whatever collage. So if something will come down. This will get replaced. It's got like a string on it and Ooh. I freaking love it. It's super it's amazing. So bought that, bought my Pennsylvania pattern and now you just have to finish these birds. Um, <laughs> so I can move on to my next thing. I like so many, I have so many things like in the queue of like, what I want to do. I know. Not enough time. <laughs> um, Jody froze. Oh no. <laughs> Jody's frozen. Okay, well we'll move on until she comes back. I'm oh, back. There she is. Okay, there she is. All right, is that all you bought? That's all I bought. It's awesome. Um, I had some stitchy kindness this week too. So I had a surprise visit from Jody last night and Aww. they needed some adult time. And <laughs> my house is a perfect place to come for that. <laughs> and, uh, but she brought me this sweet little pattern from Little House in the Oh, that's, that's, that's so perfect, perfect for you. For you. Mm-hmm. 
I might stitch it world sign and put it in the journal. Who knows? Um, <laughs> That one actually might be too hard to stitch real tiny. I was going to say that one looks tough. I don't know. This one was, I just want to display it, you know, in my house for the holidays, for the, for the summer holiday. Um, so I got that. So thank you, Jody, for that. <clears throat> and then I, um, okay. So let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about this, uh, auction that I lost horribly. Oh. Okay. Um, and Michelle, I want to thank you if you watch this video. She did say on her last um, floss tube that she felt bad that I didn't win because <laughs> I was <laughs> real hard to win that auction and I lost miserably. So funny thing was, is that our friend Bart, he's Park Hopper Bart on Instagram. He watches our floss tubes and Bart and I were kind of going back and forth with this auction at first. They're so like, he would bid and then I would outbid him and then he would outbid me and then I outbid him. And so the night that we filmed, so on Friday night when we filmed and I was like complaining about the auction, it wasn't about him. It was about this other lady who I think ended up winning the auction, but he like, oh, no, did he think it was about him? Yeah. And he was like, thanks for throwing major shade at me <laughs> on the last video. And I was like, no, no, it wasn't about you. It was about this other lady that came out of left field and just started outbidding both of us. Okay. So needless <laughs> to say, Bart and I both lost, <laughs> we lost the auction. But, That's a bummer. I would have been happy for either of you. He's awesome. I know. I know. That's what I said. And like, it was funny because like, I was like watching him and he would bid and I would outbid him. And I'm like, this is, this is going to be hilarious to see who actually does this. Okay. So I said, well, screw it. Let's just buy the pattern. Cause he was like, I found it. Like I found the pattern. Like, let's just buy the pattern. Yeah. So I bought the pattern. I'm waiting to hear from Bart. Bart, please let me know if you ended up buying it. Um, to see if he bought it because we're going to sell it. So, oh, how nice. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so we are doing the Mexican sampler circa 1850. This is from um, Queenstown Sampler Design. And um, also the girl who had gifted this for the auction for Michelle Bendy, she had messaged us also on, I think it was on our YouTube comments, and she had said that she was going to stitch it. And then she looked at the pattern and it has like a bunch of crazy stitches. I don't know what the heck I'm getting into on this, but like I'm jazzed up. So anyway, <laughs> I didn't win the auction, but it was really fun and it was hilarious how it turned out, but I ended up getting the pattern anyway. So Michelle, no harm, no foul. I got the pattern. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> saved yourself some cash too. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I've won, I've won other auctions that Michelle has done. I love like bidding on them. And if I win them, like, it's great. If not, it's not a big deal. It all goes to a really good cause. Um, but last, our last video, we talked about stitches and things, which is that shop in Michigan, Michigan. I talked about. So as soon as we got off the call, I went to stitches and things and I bought some stuff because nice. I can help myself. So I ended up buying a piece of 40 count linen from Dames of the Needle and it's called Peeps Lost Sheep. And it's like a, it's like a very prim looking color. I don't have a picture to show you guys, but as soon as I get it, of course, I'll show it on here. Um, but it looked really neat. I could probably do a lot of different things on it. Um, and I bought a pattern and this one is from the Primitive Hair. And this was actually in, so Stitches and Things, when you go to their website, they have their full catalog and then they have their clearance sale, retiring, kind of hard to find yeah. stuff. So I went to the other one, not the regular catalog, and I found this pattern from the primitive hair and it's like <gasps> linen and it's a cat wearing a dress. That's <laughs> cute. <laughs> I said I have to have it, right? Like a piece of fabric can't travel without a pattern, right? So it was only like eight bucks. So I bought the pattern as well, but I can't say enough about stitches and things like you can search. So it's a little overwhelming. If you just want to look through everything mm -hmm. she has, she has a ton of stuff. She has like everything, everything. <laughs> but like, if you are looking for a specific designer or if you're looking for a specific count of fabric, Ada, linen, whatever, you can just type it in and search it and it'll pop up with everything that she has. So it is convenient that way. 
And like, I just typed in the primitive hair and it popped up with all the stuff that they have. Um, so I highly recommend going to her shop. It's really, really cool. And you support a local needlework shop. You know what the funniest part about that is the store itself is literally the size of a closet. It's so <laughs> tiny. So she and everything is just like in. crammed in there. Oh, okay. But it's, I mean, she knows where everything is. And when she's there, she's like, she can find things like just, oh, sure. just grabs it. But I mean, she's amazing. She's yeah. the nicest lady. It's a great store. Yeah. So I, I wish we had that closer. <laughs> I was super pumped to support her as well. So if you're looking for a needle workshop that you can support during well, COVID, a road trip there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stitches and things. We linked them last time, but I'll link them below this time as well. If you want to check out their website. Um, but that's all I bought. That's, that's, that's enough for me. I think I, I think I've exceeded my, my allowance. <laughs> I think we all have. Incredible. Yeah. All right, Erica, okay. did you buy anything the past couple of days? <clears throat> Guess what? No, I didn't buy anything. I looked at stitches <laughs> and things. I put some stuff in a cart. I have some stuff in an Etsy cart and I have not bought anything, but I'm sure by this time wow. next week, I will have a different answer for you because I only have so much <laughs> willpower. The, <laughs> pro the, only, the problem I've been facing is that I got that, uh, that Mercari app thing and oh. so <laughs> it's like Poshmark right oh I'm like so I've just been like scrolling Vera Bradley bags that are like five dollars I'm like this is amazing I need this like a crazy person so <laughs> I've been very good about that too but that's mostly what I've been looking at I don't know why okay. I stay up a lot at night yeah. I mindlessly yeah. scroll you know I always feel like after I get off these, you know, after we film, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to go look for like more stuff. It's always like, you know, it just like, mm -hmm. it just, like excites you and you just, I want like, all the things. I want everything. I want everything. Yes. I know. And it's, really I told myself I wasn't going to buy that box, you guys. I told myself That's like, it's all honking. Oh, honking. He's all right. He's, He's coughing. Okay. He's doing He's like a sneeze thing, which okay. is really scary, but it's harmless. Yeah. You're okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've never had a dog do that until I had Grover. It must be like a, I don't, I a never. Wiener thing? I do don't that. know. No, it's like that reverse sneezing thing that they do. I call it honking. Honk. <laughs> it's honking. <laughs> honking. They sound like geese. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I just, in watching Floss Tube, that doesn't help. You know, like I always watch and I'm like, yeah, maybe I should buy this. Maybe I should buy that. So it's fine. You, you know, know what does me and his Instagram, like, again, wasn't going to buy the box, but then I kept seeing the designers on Instagram and I'm like, come on, like you're killing me. I know. I know. Yeah. I gotta get off. I gotta get off the gram. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Don't even say it. I've, I've been saying that for months that I was like, I'm going to take a break from social media, but it's hard. It's hard now too, that, you know, we do floss too. You can't just like shut it off. Right. Like that's a way to communicate with people, unfortunately, like, but fortunately in a good way, like we connect with people that we would have never met before. So Jody and I just talked about that last night, you know, like talking to Michelle Bendy and talking to other stitchers and, you know, Rolodex, like she's in Japan. Like when would we have ever talked to her before? Never. So it's amazing. Love her by the way. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. It's night. She's going to join us and I can't wait. Yeah. She's going to come and hang out with us next weekend. I cannot wait. <laughs> we should record something. What? what? We should record something. I was gonna say we should have her on as like a guest on our we next. Should. Yeah. We should totally do it. She's she's rad. She is. She's so she, funny. <laughs> so we had uh, a winner from last week, Erin. What were we giving away? <laughs> um, we were giving away the box. Ooh, it comes yeah. with its own little charm. <laughs> Jody. Erica. She got Erica. She did it. 
did it, you guys. Um, the, and my favorite part is who won this? The woman with the best name ever, Kimberly M. Honeybee. I really hope that's your real last name. <laughs> She's the big box winner. <laughs> Yay, good job. Yay, Kimberly. <clears throat> Yay! We will comment on your comment from last week and, uh, or last week, uh, from Friday, so from three days ago. And uh, you I'll know get it in the mail. Well, let me tell you how annoyed I was on Saturday. I had everything packaged up, ready to go. I've got a note in there. It's all ready. I get to the post office. I'm like, yeah, we're killing it today. 12.01. This lady comes out and it's like, oh, are you going into the post office? They told me not to let anyone else in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, they closed it. Oh, I didn't know. I thought they closed it like three. Oh, oh. So we live in a very small town, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll get it out to you, Kimberly. Just, you know, the drill. Yeah. Send us your email and, uh, or send us your information through our email. She's being a new watcher. She's the new watcher. Yeah, she said like last cool. week that she was a new watcher to our Floss Tube channel. So what better way to welcome you to the crew? Hello. <laughs> Here's a prize for you. There's a fishy box. <laughs> I hope she makes Please it. I want to see it all made up. Mm -hmm. That's a requirement. If you want to, if you want to get one of our things, you have to stitch it immediately. <laughs> those pictures. Of Drop them. everything and do it pressure. now. Mm -hmm. You know how many dimensions kits, though, that people have won that they've sent us, like, progress photos of? And I'm like, yeah. I didn't think that you would really stitch this right away. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, Erica, we have a really big announcement to make. What is it? We have a cool giveaway. Um, our friends at mybobbin.com are going to give away a pattern to one of our followers. So, like, yeah. any pattern on their website pattern and there's so, like 2500 of them yeah have fun there's so many there's so many. <laughs> so many they have like a million designers they have everything like you could break it up by theme to search if you want to search for like different holidays or whatever um but they are like a, a eastern european based company and they're trying to you know meet some more people out in the western part of the world I'm trying to get so, to the english speaking yeah so we're friends with them and they are generously gifting a pattern so if you want to win say i want to win the pattern and then we will hook you up yes and we will whoever wins we will get you all of the details with how to contact mybobbin.com Mm -hmm. and you can work with us in order to contact them um but really cool and i'm so happy that mybobbin.com reached out to us and asked to sponsor and be a part of our giveaways so hi yeah. guys you guys should check them out though seriously they have a million cool patterns uh, you know like we i was like looking through there and i'm like yep i want this one yep i want this one <laughs> like there's some really intense stuff but it's really cute and like and like erica said there's a lot of different designers so it, it fits everybody's aesthetic so you can find yeah. something on there. There's a ton of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we all found something that we liked and we have pretty different interests. So yeah, absolutely. You'll find something cool. And a shout out to my friend Luda, who I've been emailing with about this because she's a champ and super awesome. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> she is great. I'm so excited that they um, reached out to us about this. So it's mm -hmm. really exciting. We're somebody yeah. now. <laughs> so if you want to win it, again, say, I want to win the pattern. Yes. Have to have pattern in your comment in order to win. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, that's all that we have for today. And we will be back next Monday. So we'll be on this, like, Monday rotation now. So um, you'll see this, like, Monday night into Tuesday whenever you watch the floss tube stuff. Um, be sure to set your notifications too. hit the bell next to the subscribe button. And then that way, anytime we have a new video, you get notified of it. Um, so you can stay up to date on all of our stuff. And thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. We always love the support and we love the comments that we get from you guys every week. We do read every single comment. Mm -hmm. um, and if we don't comment on all of them, we will heart them. We do read them and we really do appreciate them. So we screenshot them and send them to each other and go, look what someone said. <laughs> we do. 
<laughs> like we fan yeah. on you guys so bad. We're like, oh, we have it. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate it. So we will see you guys in a week and have a great Memorial Day, whatever's the remaining of it. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.